Hi guys, a scientist called Libby was interviewed by Byline Times regarding the work she has been doing collecting readings of waste levels on British coasts. As we know over the last few days, a large number of sites have received no swim warnings as there have been elevated levels of raw sewage found. A few months ago, the entire Conservative Party voted down a motion that would have made it illegal for water companies to release such effluent into waterways. Now, this is primarily an English problem, as the Scottish Government has not permitted it. Libby explains how this is a result of Brexit, as there is a shortage of chemicals and lax laws. I love the sea. We had seven hours of poo released into it just a few days ago. The reason why the government uh, relaxed legislation on, on releasing raw sewage into our sea is because they can't get the chemicals to treat the raw sewage to the water companies because there aren't enough lorry drivers. And the reason there aren't enough lorry drivers is because we don't allow foreign people to work in the country anymore. But because of Brexit, we don't have the chemicals. I mean, a lot of people will argue that it's not because of Brexit, Nowhere else has a problem with it, apart from us. The EU have lovely, lovely clean beaches. It's vastly different. It's going to ruin tourism. I mean, that, that's one of my main worries, is I don't want to see my local shops and businesses going under because nobody wants to come and spend time here. Another great report from Byline Times, and I'll leave a link to the full interview on um, in the description of the video. And she's completely correct here. Um, there are a number of things to talk about here. Uh, she's talking about the businesses that are risking going under because who wants to go and visit a beach that's that involves swimming in turds? Nobody wants to do that. And obviously, this is going to affect these seaside communities. And many, and sadly, many of these many of these seaside communities were convinced by the likes of Nigel Farage to vote for Brexit, and this is the consequence of that. Um, it affects businesses, it affects fishing communities, seaside communities, but it also, of course, it affects the environment. You're going to see massive damage to ecosystems. You're going to see massive damage to wildlife. For what? Really, what was this all about? Of course, it was about keeping racists happy. These draconian measures that were brought in post-Brexit to deal with immigration have made it almost impossible for some sectors to get the workers they need. All because we have to keep the, the, the foreigners out or appear, that, appear to be keeping the foreigners out. That's what it's been about since the beginning. When Nigel Farage was talking about Brexit, yes, he was talking about taking back control, but it was about immigration principally. He knew that was the thing that would get the vote over the line. And this is the consequence of that. There has been EU legislation, for example, to clean up beaches, to, to punish companies if they release raw sewage, for example, into seas and, and into waterways. But now since Brexit, the UK government has said, well, we're not going to actually find these companies. We're not going to punish them. We're going to let them do whatever the hell they want. So how can this be fixed? Well, you need a, a change of government and you need to reapply to the European Union because you need to have a base level. And we can't rely on just a change of government because as soon as the, the Tories are out and a new party is put in, and as soon as that party is out, the Tories will be back once again and they'll just run roughshod over everything once again. You need to have a baseline. You need to have a, a, a standard that government can't run, over, uh, run roughshod on. Or at least if they do, they get punished for it. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.